David Bailey Bellew retired from the police force three years ago and has been farming snails ever since. And how many snails have you got here altogether? This place can do two and a half tons a year. God. It's labour intensive. Very labour intensive. I can spend five to six hours a day in here. I will use several hundred gallons of water God. every day in here. While David works his ass off rearing the little buggers at a rate of a quarter of a million a year, his wife, Maura, can barely make enough garlic butter to keep up. I've never had a British snail yet, you know that. I've always been using the French. Here you go. Mm. I'm amazed at the texture, the flavour, and I have to say they do taste just as good as the French right. in a way that they're... Uh, they're a lot sweeter. We've got no reason to be squeamish about them, have we? No, no, no. they're lovely, aren't they? And, and is it to do with sort of, uh, I mean, you've seen them in the back garden? Yes. Um, so you shouldn't eat them, which is crazy. Well, people uh, put slug pellets down and poison them and yeah. what have you, and then go to a restaurant and order half a dozen and, yeah. and pay a lot of money for that yeah. when they can eat what's in their garden. The snails David farms are the same variety as those found in your garden. Now, there's clearly millions and millions of farm snails, but what excites me more than anything, the fact that you can actually eat the snails from your back garden. And obviously, eating things that are wild are far tastier from a chef's point of view than something farmed. Now, rumour has it, they like coming out in the wet, hence the reason why I'm fucking watering the garden for the first time ever. I'm gonna give you five pence per snail yeah. if you find them, okay? Five <gasps> pence. Mother! Wait, 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 wait. Yes, look, there's one there. Have you got one, Hal? Yeah, but there's thousands more. Well, I want the bucket up to there. You got 20 pence, 15 pence, 10, 15, 20, 25. You can't eat garden snails immediately. You need to ensure any toxins they may have consumed are purged from their system. For the first two days, leave the snails without any food and regularly wash them. On day three, give them a carrot and leave them for a couple of days until you see their drop-ins turn orange. Finally, wash the snails again and place them in the fridge in a sealed container. The cold will send them into a deep, deep sleep. Say goodbye to these little buggers and send them in there for a bath. What frustrates me now when you see these in the pan is the fact that I pay a fortune for snails and they're sort of free-range, wild, organic snails from southwest of France. The fact that I've got all these snails in my bloody back garden and I'm not paying a penny for them, we can finally say goodbye to the French. Drain. Get your tweezers and pick the tail. Now look at that. Small, sweet and beautiful. Right, with these snails now, I want to sort of up the tempo a little bit. And yes, they're wild and they're from the back garden and they look delicious, but I want to get away from that garlic butter. So this is the most amazing sort of smoked pancetta. And get it nice and crispy. I think we're on the verge now of discovering the most amazing delicacy. Yes, from fucking Wandsworth. Some fresh sage. Snails in. Saute them. Now, to finish the snails, I'm going to put some fresh parsley in there. Fresh lemon juice. A little bit of olive oil. That, now, is ready for the salad. I just want the salad lightly dressed because that's been the big problem with snails. They've been heavily doused with lots of garlic butter. I want to keep it nice and light. And it smells amazing. The sage has got that really nice sort of sweet, spicy flavour. And you've got that crispiness of the bacon. And you've got that really nice fresh lemon juice squeezed all over them.